Hello everyone, welcome to our Chris Dingle service today in which we are here to celebrate Jesus, the light of the world and the new life and hope that he brings and also to raise money and awareness to support the work of the Children's Society who bring light to the lives of young people who are suffering across this country. Today we've got an opportunity during our Chris Dingle service to celebrate Jesus, the light coming into the world of darkness and to share that light with others. So for our service, you're going to need all the bits that um, I asked you to get ready before. So an orange and a ribbon and a candle. Uh, if you haven't got those, pause the video now, go and grab them. The other thing that you're going to need is we've got a little Chris Dingle sheet which is on the website to download and uh, what's exciting is that there's a little uh, Chris Dingo I've called it which is Chris Dingle bingo so as you listen to the service mark off the words that you hear during the service and there's one word on here that you shouldn't hear and if you can let me know what that is over the next week I might be able to stretch to giving some chocolate prizes out to some people. Ooh, chocolate prizes. Okay, so we're going to start by saying our greeting, which goes like this. Christ has brought us out of darkness to live in his wonderful light. And we're going to start by singing a song, and then, uh, it will all be on the screen for you. It was on a starry night Where the hills were bright Earthly sleeping, sleeping calm and still Then in a cattle shed In a manger bed A boy was born service where we're going to light our advent wreath and I've got three lovely helpers here who are going to help light our wreath and um, we've got Charlie and Malachi and Leah. Hi. Are you ready? So we're going to come and light the three candles for the third Sunday of um, Advent. Charlie, do you want to come and light your candle? And then light the one on the roof. Careful. Oh, a bit more, Charlie. A bit more. That's 
that's it. And you can blow your little white one out. And Malachi. Oh no. Come and stand still again for me. Malachi is going to light his candle. Blow yours out, and <coughs> Leah is going to come and do hers. Come and stand still for me, Charlie. <coughs> Blow yours out. Fantastic. Now we've got our Advent wreath lit. Uh, Nancy is going to say our opening responses. Jesus, light the world. Shine in this place. Jesus, light the world. Shine in our hearts. Jesus, light the world. Shine in our lives. Jesus, light the world. Shine in all of our earth. Amen. Right, everyone, we are ready to make our Christingle. So to make your Christingle, you are going to need a few different things. We need an orange. Have you guys all got your oranges? Yeah. Brilliant. Orange. We need a candle. Have you guys got your candle? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, we need one, two, three, four cocktail sticks. Yeah. How many have you got? Four. 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 Brilliant. Four. Then we need something red to go around the middle. Now normally we use tape, but not everybody has Christingle tape at home. So today we're using a paper chain paper that we're going to stick around the middle. So have you all got a bit of red to go around the yeah. middle? You could use a ribbon or you could use some wool or anything really to go around the top. We're, we'll, it's okay, we'll get to it. Uh, you need a sharp knife to make a hole on the top. And you are going to, for the candle. And we're going to need some sweets and some fruits, okay? Have you got some sweets and fruits? Yeah. Yeah, yeah really? we've got um, okay. like dolly mixes and raisins, which is a good idea. Brilliant. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to put some sweets onto our cocktail sticks, okay? So, and really carefully, so watch your fingers, we don't want to squash your fingers. Oh, some of these sweets are a little bit hard, aren't they? Oh yeah, they really are. And a few raisins. Oh, mine's kind of cracked. Yours kind of cracked. okay. So I've got one done. It's I'm just okay putting... if it cracks. It is okay if it cracks. As long as it stays on. Yeah, we just need it to stay on. How are you getting on, Charlie? Good. Yeah? I'm getting on terrible. You're getting on terrible, Malachi. What's happened? This. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. no, you need to put them on your Chris Dingle. It's for making a Chris Dingle. You have to put it in pretty. Yeah, brilliant. So you need to do all four. To put them on. To put them on, yeah. So can you keep threading your sweets? Yes, but it's a bit hard. They are a little bit hard. Watch your fingers, just be careful. I think you can hear my other little niece in the background over there. Which is Ada. Ada Kawaiwa. That's okay. Do you want some help? Do you want some of mine? Yeah? Can I have a couple of yours and I'll just keep going? Let's get some gummy drops. Gummy drops are the best. Okay. And the raisins. Yeah, they're really good for putting on. Yeah, raisins are really easy. You really want to find soft sweets. Need to like the gummy drops. Are you come in. Do you want to come and have a look? Come on then. My sister's coming to have them. Well, not exactly help. Just come and look. I cracked it. How's everybody else getting on? I wonder how you guys are getting on at home. It, it's of course you are always coming. You are making, you are making your single along with the video, which you probably are. You'll probably do it. No, after. they are making it with the with the video. Yes, yeah. They might make it after the video's done. Oh, they might. Hi, Ada. You're gonna come and. Oh no, I've just broken mine. Some 
tummy drops. Yeah, there they're really go. easy to put on. Wait, the raisins. I am done. Done? you done? Do you want to help Charlie with one as well? It should look a bit like that. Hey, look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Done. Awesome. Well, well done, done, Charlie. Okay, so you've got four. No, yeah. Charlie's. Warning, do not eat the sweets that are already on the stick. It's a bad idea because you could stab your tongue, which is very bad. Because then you have Malachi. to have a break in a hospital. <laughs> what are you going on about? You, want, you do want to take the sweets off. Don't put the cocktail sticks in your mouth. You're right. Yes. How many have you done? You've got four? Yeah. I've got one, two, three. Oh. I'm just short of one. Where's my stick? Oh, because you're doing one. So should I have one of mine back there? Okay. No, not yet. You can eat them afterwards. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to... No, we're not going to stab the orange. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our red ribbon. Now, the orange means something. Do you know, do you guys know what the orange means? Well... Yeah, you're right, Leah. Okay, so the orange is a symbol of the world, isn't it? I need more. And the ribbon means the blood of Jesus. The ribbon does mean the blood of Jesus. You're right. So we're going to try and put that right round the middle. Malachi. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ribbon or the tape around the orange and we're sellotaping ours on because so it goes like that because we've got paper chains which is very big my orange is a bit big so it goes yeah big. mine's a little bit big too i've just sellotaped it at the back then so done orange how have you got your no, i'm done and we've got ribbon the tape. so it should look like, like that so, malachi Yes. Oh, that's okay. So we need to make sure it looks like that. Oh, well done, Leah. That's really good. So where did your bit of sellotape go? There you go. So your bit of sellotape's here. Yeah. Keep on looking. Oh, how's it going? Make okay. sure sometimes the this stage looks like an orange but we have the red that looks like a, make sure at this stage the orange looks like an orange with a ribbon on yes, yes. okay you've so something, yes you've done something wrong Should right malachi come and stand back here now very carefully and this is a really difficult bit we are going to make you might a have little to ask your parents. you might need to ask a grown-up okay ask a grown -up. we're going to Morning. put a ask cross a we're going to put a cross in the top of our orange with a sharp knife. Yeah, like that. Just like she's doing. Okay, so we're going to put a cross in the top of our orange. Okay, do you want me to do yours, Charlie? Yeah. I'll do mine. Yeah? I'll do mine. So I will cut myself. Yeah, so if you are a little bit more grown up, you, you can, can do it have a go yourself. yourself. If you're a bit little, you can't do it yourself. You need a bit of help. Okay, so there's your Christingle. Now, we're putting a candle in the middle. Malachi, do you know what the candle is for? Isn't it for the light of Jesus? It is for the light of the world, yes. So once you've got your cross in the top, we're going to stick our candle into our orange. Oh, that's really juicy, mine is. Mine's you okay? Do you want the raisin? You want a raisin? Oh, I'm really juicy. Here you go, some raisins. Um, and mine yeah, and cloth. too deep. Okay, so there's a cloth. Oh, mine really is way too deep. Okay, that's okay. Right. Like, <coughs> Let's fold that a little. Look a bit in there. There you go. My cloth's way Ooh. too deep. Oh, are they nice? It okay. should Careful look then. like Thank that. You. And then, yes, thank you, Leah, for showing us. Oops. Yes, brilliant. Well done. Now, there is a cloth here if you need to wipe up some juice. Uh, yeah, try okay. not to get orange okay. juice. Yeah, you, you can have some more. That's fine. Then, oh, Charlie needs a bit, a bit of orange. Yeah. Oh, dear. Now, why have, have we got, why have we got cocktail <coughs> sticks with sweets on? I 
<laughs> you know, Leo, why have we got cocktail sticks for sweets on? Because you represent it for West, no. North, East, no. and there's other words that look like that, aren't there? South. South. Okay, so it's about the whole world, isn't it? So, yes. the whole world. And why is there sweets and fruit on it? <gasps> to represent all the fruits in the world. Anything else? No. It's to represent all the good things that God gives us. So, we're going to put four of our Make sticks. Sure to put two on each side. Two on each side, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. like that. Yeah, like well that. Well done, Malachi. Oh, while they were talking, I did that. Okay, stand yes, yeah. back over here then. Make sure juice doesn't come out of it. Yeah, we've got very juicy oranges we have. Make sure at this stage, okay. the orange looks like an orange with red ribbon around it with a small can on top. Okay, thank you. The sweets on the outside. Okay, so what we have now is we've got our orange for the world, we've got our candle. We've got our candle for Jesus being the light of the world. We've got the red ribbon to think about his blood and his rescue plan. And we've got the sweet, all the good things that God gives us from all over the world. And now we've got I one more stage. I hope that you guys have enjoyed making your Chris Dingles too. We're gonna, we're going to use these at the end of our service. Are you ready? Let's move on to the next bit then. Well, hello everyone. It's now time to sing our Chris Dingle song. So are you ready? Let's sing. The Chris Dingle begins with an orange Like the world which the Lord God made For creation is full of his glory All around we see his love displayed Sing Chris Dingle Go sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, light of Christ. Every year we give thanks for the seasons and the fruits of the earth to share. The Christingle is here to remind us that the love of God is ever. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, light of Christ. God of love, we give thanks now for Jesus. We remember his birth again. But the red ribbon round the Christingle is the story of his cross and pain. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, light of Christ. To complete the Christingle, a candle, telling us of the world's true light. For the darkness shall not overcome it. Jesus shines on in the darkest night. So sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, sing, Christingle, light of Christ. The reading is taken from Genesis, chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Luke, chapter 11, verse 33. No one lights a lamp and puts it in place where it will be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a lampstand so that those who come in may see the light. Psalm chapter 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Uh, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my, the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The reading is taken from John chapter 1 verse 5. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This reading is taken from John chapter 8, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never live in darkness, but will have the light of life. So we have just heard a few verses from the Bible about light. We're going to spend just a few minutes thinking about light and how we can be light in the world. This year could have been called a year of darkness when the tragedy of Covid brought the world to a standstill. One of the things that has happened as a result is for us to have been in two national lockdowns and now we're in tier three and that's meant that many of us have had to stay at home for weeks and weeks and weeks. I wonder what you have done to keep safe. Have you used lots of soap to wash your hands? Or lots of hand sanitizer? Do some of you wear masks when you're out and about? Grown-ups and teenagers have had to. I wonder how do you feel when you have to wear them? And then we've had to keep apart from people. We can still be close at home with our immediate family, but what about hugging our grandparents? What about hugging our aunts and uncles or cousins, spending time with them? What about being really close with our friends? How does that make you feel? Even when we're in school, things are so different. We're not allowed to hug our friends. We're not allowed to play physical games. And all our teachers are wearing masks. The whole thing can make us feel quite isolated, lonely, or actually even quite frightened. The Children's Society support children and young people who feel like this all of the time. Like Jamie, he was bullied at school which made him feel left out, isolated, and he struggled with his mental health. The Children's Society were able to offer Jamie the support that he needed to be able to manage his feelings and his emotions. He was able to talk through some of his anxieties at drop-in centres. I wonder what ways you have used to talk to others during this year. I wonder what new things that you've tried I'm sure many of us now are completely sorted with how to FaceTime and how to do Zoom meetings and change our backgrounds. We've probably all quite got used to all the different social networking apps. Some of us might have even gone a bit old school and used a telephone or written a letter to chat to our loved ones. You see, even though we've been isolated, we found ways of communicating with our friends and our families. We have, through conversations, been able to shine a light in some of the dark places. The Children's Society works with lots of children around the UK who need some light to shine in their lives. Children from broken homes or communities. Children who felt isolated from exploitation or abuse young carers and those who struggle with their mental health. The Children's Society shines a light on their situations and then brings about hope and healing for them. Jamie found the help he needed and now he's able to help others who feel isolated too. He's able to share the light with others and to bring about hope and healing we're all able to share a light during lockdowns. Every time we heard a story like Captain Tom's, or when we stood on the doorstep and clapped for our NHS, when we heard the stories from the Brood Helpers Network and all those who went above and beyond to support the vulnerable in our village. God shared his light with the whole world through Jesus, who came to earth to share God's love to break down the barriers of loneliness and isolation and to bring all people together to live in hope and light. He gave us the job of sharing that light to everyone we meet. So as we get to the end of our service today and we light our Christingles, 
Think about how you felt this year. Think about all those people who brought light and hope into your life. And think about how you can share Christ's light in the darkness. Daisy May is now going to lead our prayers. Lord Jesus, bring of light to this world. We pray that your light would shine in us and that as a community we may reflect your light. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bring of light to the vulnerable. We pray for those in need of your care and compassion. Shine your light on those who feel they are living in darkness. May we bring strength to the weary, joy to the downhearted, and peace to those who are restless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bring of light to the children and young people. We pray for young people who are in dark situations. Shine your light on those who feel hopeless, afraid, and without hope that they may have a brighter future. May we look to your example, not excluding anyone because of age, but accepting all those we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, bring of light to the helpers. We pray that you would be with those who support younger people. Shine your light on teachers and carers in our community. May they know your blessing upon them. We pray for the work of the Children's Society and all those who support their work with vulnerable young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. We will now say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We have come to the part of our service where we are going to light our Chris Dingles. Now, if you're at home, you might want to turn your lights off. But remember that these are candles and it's a flame, so it's going to be really, really very hot. So make sure you're holding your orange and not your candle. And make sure that you keep it at a safe distance away from you. Okay? Shall we light our candles? And then Leah's going to say a prayer, our Chris Dingle prayer. Okay, so please be careful. Good. Let's hold our lights out very carefully. Leah's going to say our Chris Dingle prayer for us. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as I hold this Chris Dingle and think about you, your great love for me. Help me to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. 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 Right, we're going to sing now this little light of mine, and we've got some action, so me and Leah are going to show you the action, and then hopefully you will be able to join in with us. Are you ready? No, no. 
joining us at our online Chris Dingle service. I hope you were able to make your Chris Dingles okay. Our offering for the service today is all online and all donations will go directly to the work of the Children's Society. You will find the link on the website or in the description below. Can you help to shine a light in the darkness and bring hope to vulnerable children? We hope that many of you will have made a star already this uh, this year so far in our Follow the Star as we continue to think about light and hope leading up to Christmas. If not, you've still got a couple of weeks until Christmas so you can get creative, you can hang a star in your window. Then on Christmas Eve, the church is going to be open between 10 and 2 for you to bring your star and hang it around the crib. You'll also be able to pick up a Christmas activity bag ready for our online crib service at four o'clock. Have a look at our website for more details of the hashtag follow the star and for all our Christmas services. Thank you for joining us. Malachi is now going to finish our service with our final prayers. Um, and now we're going to do our closing prayer. Um, we go in peace. To share the peace of God with all we meet. We go in love. To share God's gift of love with the world. We go in light. To shine as lights in the world. To the glory of God, of our God, of God the Father. Amen. Um, and now we're going to do our sending out. Out. Let us go in peace. We walk into the. We go into the world. To walk in God's light. To rejoice in God's love. And to reflect in God. And to reflect in God's glory. Amen. <laughs>